Look at the size of this thing. Wasabi. Mm. Wasabi. Oh. Mm. Oh my god. It looks so cute. I am in South Korea, which is wild to say. It still hasn't hit me that I'm in South Korea. This, ladies and gentlemen, is Gwangjang Market. I have seen so many videos of the street food in Seoul and have been dying to try it out for myself. It's one thing watching it on a screen, but a totally different experience in person. The energy at this market is so alive, very busy, lots happening. So many different food stalls where you can see the food being made fresh in front of you. The smells, noise, vibe, it's something I've never experienced before. Chaotic, but in the best way. And I'm gonna try a lot of different foods and just take it all in. So I wanna bring you guys with me. We can just experience it both together. It just feels so cool. They also provided samples of the things sold at some of the stalls for you to try. These are traditional Korean snacks. Sesame and this one. Wow. Mmm, nutty. There was so much choice, it was overwhelming. I mean, where do you even start? What should I try first? I could not decide. They had tteokbokki, pickled vegetables, gimbap, fried pancakes, and this spinning thing on a wheel. But then I walked past this store and it was clear that the first thing I should try was the fresh dumplings, which they call mandu here. I mean, just look at all of these. Shrimp. Wow, shrimp dumplings. It was really cool and interesting to be able to interact with the cooks and watch how the food is being made. I feel like you don't get this kind of interactive experience as much in the UK, but this was really cool. They were so good at it too, like absolute experts. They made it look so easy. Very satisfying to watch. The first thing we're trying is shrimp dumplings, known as mandu here. Wow. <laughs> Mmm! That's really good. It tastes so fresh. I really like the texture of the dumpling. I don't taste fishy. They make it in front of you, the steam, there's so many options, it's all fresh. It's just a really good vibe. Now we've come to the heart of the market, which is made up of multiple different stores, providing lots of variety of foods on display. This part's super busy. They have seats alongside them, where you can sit and order your food. I really liked the communal aspect of this setup. Big fan. Oh, wow, it's so much happening. I blooming love it. It's so chaotic. I love it. The vibes are immaculate. Got some tteokbokki, which is rice cakes in um, hot red sauce. I have this bowl of hot food here. Oh, smells very seaweedy. It's very overstimulating here, but in the best way. There's lots of food on display, all made fresh and hot. There's a lot of people walking around. It's very communal eating, hustle and bustle, really hot. Great vibes. The first thing I'm going to try is tteokbokki, which is rice cake with this hot red pepper sauce. But look at the size of this thing. It's huge. I've never seen a tteokbokki this big before. And yes, I don't know how to use chopsticks, so I've stabbed it, which could probably potentially be offensive to the culture, but who knows? Let's try it. Whoa, that sauce is good. Look at that sauce. It's so spicy. More food. There's so much food. The women here are so friendly and sweet. Even though there's a language barrier, it's just so like wholesome and cute. <gasps> this feels so like comfort in a bowl. This is seaweed soup. Very in interesting new flavors. We don't have a lot of seaweed flavored food in the UK. Ooh, okay, I still haven't learned how to do chopsticks and they don't provide anything other than chopsticks here, so a girl is trying. It's fishy and it's seaweedy. Tastes like the sea. <laughs> but it's nice, comforting. Mmm, I like it. Oh, I can just feel my insides warming up. I'm just like very, very happy. This is what traveling's about. 20,000 won for everything. Good vibe. This is sweaty, sweaty stuff. It's like so many flavors and so much happening, but um, luckily I got my air up with me, so I'm like cooling down. I've got the white peach smoothie flavor with me today. This is a limited edition one, so I'm trying it out. And oh my God, it's so nice. Usually my, my normal go-to 
favorite flavor is the iced tea peach. This is like an upgraded version to that. It's a white peach smoothie, which feels quite fitting because peach is like a big thing here. It is quite a subtle taste. It's not like drinking squash, where it's like an intense flavor. It's more like flavored water. It's really nice. I have become very emotionally attached to my era bottle. I have it everywhere. And I love the steel one because it keeps the water cool, especially because I'm like traveling a lot. And in these spaces, it gets quite hot really quickly. So to have like cold water with you, but also be flavored water, big fan. The way it works is you fill it up with water and then you put the pod on top, but you have to like lift it up. So when you drink it, that's what gives it the flavor. And what's crazy about this is that I'm actually just drinking water right now. Apparently a lot of what we taste is down to what we smell. It's some sort of science that's insane. Like the first time I tried it, I was so shocked that it actually works. And it's insane. You just get flavored water. And I'm also having cold water right now which I'm very grateful for. But if you want to try the ear up, the link is in the description. Definitely check it out. Wow! We were walking past the store when this lovely man started feeding us food from his plate. Super lovely, super wholesome. Despite the language barrier, he was still chatting and interacting with us. It was just so sweet. Yeah, try it, try it. Oh, go, you got to feed it. It's a culture here. No. What should I say? Hey! What's here? Oh, very friendly guy. So good. Oh. <laughs> this is a spicy. Mm. Wasabi. Oh. Keep me strong. <laughs> He's so funny. This guy is so sweet. <laughs> He's just feeding us, it's so sweet. On your hand. Ah. Mmm. Come, Samida. We're getting one of these in a cup. It is very loud and busy in there, but that's the market I was just in. It's also loud and busy here. Lots happening. I got myself some fried pancake. This one is a vegetable one. You can also get it with seafood and lots of other things. Oh my god, that's so nice. It's really, really crispy. And it's thick. You can see the, there's like cabbage on it. It's just like a giant hash brown. A very glorious, bougie hash brown. Ooh. Don't keep laughing at me, it makes me feel closer. Between an omelette and a hash brown. Between an omelette and a hash brown. Bougie! <laughs> eggs are so bougie. An omelette? <laughs> For me, I got a little standard. Do you like your hash brown? I think it's really tasty. Mmm. Oh, so good. It's like between an omelette and a hash brown. Between an omelette and a hash brown. Bougie! <laughs> your eggs are so bougie. An omelette? <laughs> For me, I got a lot of standards. Now it's time for dessert. Bingsu is really popular here in the summertime and they were literally going to stop selling it this week. So I had to grab one. I am not gonna lie, I think the jet lag is starting to hit me. I woke up at like half seven this morning and I was like, wow, I feel great. Jet lag isn't a thing. And I came to the market and there's like so much happening and it's overstimulating and I think it's hitting me. So I thought I would have a lot of sugar to help me crash. <laughs> I've got myself this dessert called Bingsu, which is very popular in this part of the world because it's quite a hot country, I think, or like humid. But um, I got mango Bingsu and Bingsu shaved ice. Really looking forward to this actually because um, I'm like really hot. But as you can see, there's a lot of layers to this thing. Mango is like one of my favorite fruits. Mmm. It's cold though. I'm trying to figure out what the flavor is. I'm not sure what the flavor is, but it's really good. Mmm. Oh my God. This is so good. Can you see the crushed ice? Oh, this really hits the spot. This is really nice. And the mango tastes really fresh. They have little jelly bits in here too. I'm gonna give this a nine out of 10. Big fan of mango bingsu, love it. Next on my dessert list are these fish shaped pastries that came with different fillings. It was really satisfying watching them be made. I literally could have stood there and watched it for hours and I nearly did. Come Samida. So this is a fish shaped pastry that's filled with custard. You can also get in red bean and chocolate, I believe, but the red bean was sold out and the red bean is the most like um, traditional way of having it. It looks so cute. Mmm, oh, that's so nice. It's so light and fluffy. And it's so warm because it's made fresh. This was only like a pound. I'm such a texture girly. Mm. And the texture of this, oh, it's so light and fluffy. I want to get another one. <gasps> I'm gonna get a bag of 10 of these. 
<laughs> now we explore a night street food market. I am in a place called Dongdaemun and they do street food here and we're gonna try some of it out. Let's go. This place was a lot less intense, more chill vibes, but still lots of variety of food. I started out with my favorite vegetable kimbap with sesame seeds on the outside. Mmm. It's called mayak and mayak means narcotics because they say it's so addictive. I have heard that. <laughs> what would you give this out of 10? 4. What would you give this out of 10? 8. 9. I thought it was for sushi then. Right. Yeah, but with some chilli oil. Really good. And this is jack jai. The kids are looking at me like, she's so uncomfortable. And then we've got the pancake. Mmm. I'm impressed. Oh, that is really good. Top is so nice. I love but that. my favorite is the kimbap. Okay. One, two, three, and we're eating. Oh, this is too big for my mouth. Mmm. It's probably good that that was off camera. Okay? <laughs> what is that? Spring onions. Oh. It's home of okay. them, so it's spring onions, um, seafood. So like it's squid. Um, oh. Yeah. There's squid in it. That's good enough. Did you taste it? I couldn't no. taste it either. Oh, oh this is a content. <laughs> This corn dog has fries all the way around it. This is the most unflattering thing to eat, but I'm going to try it. Mmm. Oh, nice. How do you recommend? The corn dogs here are incredible. Is it corn dog? yeah. That has been street food in Dong Dong Mun. Dong Dae Mun. <laughs> Dong Dae Mun. <laughs> market. Hello my favorite humans. I have some incredibly exciting news I want to share with you guys. I'm hosting a group travel trip with you guys. This is like a dream of mine and I can't believe this is an actual possibility now. I love traveling. I love going to new places, exploring new cultures, new food, meeting new people and I also love sharing those experiences with you guys. Why not take it a step further and go on a trip together? So you guys filled in a survey on Instagram going through your budgets, what activities you'd like to do and where you'd like to go. Based on your suggestions we are going to buy I am excited to be a beach girlie and eat all the incredible food. I mean, just look at this view and look at this food and look at this view with this food. Incredible times. The trip takes place between May 9th and 16th, 2024. These are the prices on screen right now. The first eight spots are early bird tickets, which means there will be a $200 discount. So definitely grab the early bird tickets as soon as you can. We love a good discount. All the information on how you can book the trip, the itinerary, payment plans, frequently asked questions, details are in the description box below. Definitely check them out. Hopefully, I'll see you in Bali. Wild, crazy. What exciting, amazing times. Guys, it's actually hit me. <laughs> I'm very tired. I picked this up from the convenience store. It's an onigiri, but it's 3XL. It's a big bad boy. I've never seen one this big before. There's a way to open these and I don't know how to do it. You open this here. Yeah, and you push and it, all, you the pull it <gasps> all the way around. So apparently, you just, um, you go like this. Oh my gosh, I'm doing a bad jump. You just, okay. And you push it all the way to the top. <laughs> and I got myself an onigiri. I think that's how you say it. Kimbap. Kimbap. This is my dinner. Go try it. Oh, that is so nice. Oh my god, this is so good. Food here is so good. It's tuna onigiri. Today was a wild experience. The food, the people, oh my god, the people are so friendly here. I feel like it wasn't just about eating the food. It was so much more than that. Like you got to see the food being made in front of you in real time. And you got to eat the food fresh. And it was made by local people. It was just amazing. What a great first day in Seoul. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me. Stay tuned for the rest of the series. Lots more videos to come. I'm going to finish off my food and then take a massive nap. Love you lots. Please don't let it matter. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thanks for time for me to go. <laughs> like I die. Like I'm last night with the flow here.